Now our main focus is to create a block and that is we will be doing purely with Node.js and some of the plugins related to Node.js. So this will be the conclusion part of our course. But here we will be creating a complete block structure in a simple understanding so that you can do it. And basically our code will be around 200 to 210 lines of code. And that code will include everything related to proof of concept and many more things. The basic concept of blockchain is quite simple. As I would repeat, it's a distributed database that maintains continuously growing list of ordered records. However, it is easy to get a mixed up or as usually when we talk about blockchains, we also talk about the problems we are trying to solve with them. So this is the case in the popular blockchain process and the projects which are very popular such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. The term blockchain is usually strongly tied to concepts such as transactions, smart contracts, cryptocurrencies. So you will often hear about this term that is blockchain. This makes understanding blockchains a necessarily harder task than it must be, especially source code which wisely where you can see the block structure is to be defined. So consider for the structure of a block, as I mentioned in my previous chapters, like every transaction is represented as a block. The first logical step is to decide the block structure. To keep things as simple as possible, we include only the most necessary index timestamp data, hash and previous hash. So it is represented over here. The block 0 is like my first block with the index mentioned as 0 and the timestamp is some particular timestamp. This is just an example, but your timestamp will be the date where you are operating the particular block or you are completing a particular transaction. Then comes the data associated to it. So my data will be block O data, some data and the hash value and the previous hash. This hash value will be taken as a previous hash in the next block, in your successing block, which will have an index timestamp data as the way I had for block zero. Then I have block two and here also the previous hash will be the hash value of the block one. So it is like, Block 2 will have the previous hash inside the JSON structure, which will be the hash value of this one. So this is the first law logical step where we have included a particular hashing structure inside a block. So we have three blocks over here. So the block hash, the block needs to be hashed to keep the integrity of a data. SHA-256 is a token which is used and it is taken over content of the block. It should be noted that this hash has nothing to do with mining. So there is no proof of work problem to solve. So when it comes to generating a particular block, to generate a block, we must know the hash of the previous block and create the rest of the required block. Block data is something that is provided by the end user. So now we will check on to the next step which is important. To understand is about the NPM packages which is important in our project. So first comes is the NPM package that is NPM install crypto JS. This is just for maintaining the cryptocurrency thing and whatever the cryptography logic we are going to develop. And the next one is the Express JS. Express JS helps to bind between the block. Basically these two are the one which acts as an intermediary and binds between the blocks. So for that there are various set of plugins which is Express JS and body parser. After that comes the next important logic is the web socket. Web socket is like, like the way you have for HTTP with a defined protocol in the similar way we have it for web sockets. So we will be using these plugins and the installation commands is mentioned over here. For cryptography, it is npm install crypto.js. For express.js, it is npm install express. And for body parser, it is npm install body parser. And for web socket, it is npm install. It is actually minus minus save. And your uh, it's like two uh, hyphens you're sending over here with save and ws is the keyword for web socket. So let's go to our code base. And there I have created a new folder inside it, which will be completely separate from the code base, which we have worked till now. That is the blockchain. So we are developing our blockchain with these packages. So let's get started with the same. This was our code base and I have created a new folder blockchain inside my web app. Now, when I go to the command prompt here, I will do first is the npm install. That is like making an installation of all the packages which are necessary. So I'll do that npm install over here. 
and in this I will I'm going to install the necessary plugins which is needed it takes a while because the installation procedure checks whether the existing packages are there or not if they are there then you will get a message over here that it's up to date the next thing is to install crypto js so that I'll do over here like npm install crypto crypto js so it installs all the necessary packages for related to the cryptography functionality my project already had all these packages but for your understanding i'm showing it up again which shows all the installation packages again it is giving the output that it is updated the next one is the express js so i just mentioned over here npm install express and after this you will get the necessary package installation for express as well so that will be installed over here it takes a while again because it checks if the necessary packages are already installed or not so once the express is also installed you get the uh, updated like you added seven packages removed three packages and updated 28 packages in so called value time after this i'll install the body parser so that is npm install body parser and once this is done automatically get the output also for the same so we are installing all the necessary packages which is needed it's also done now after this comes the next one is the last one is the web socket so that is npm install minus minus that is with two hyphens save ws so this will install all the necessary packages related to web sockets so we are completely focusing with respect to node which is like npm repository so we have installed all the necessary packages now what we will do now we'll start with developing a block and hash of a block and we will be doing that in our javascript file that is main.js and over there we will be creating our file for a blockchain basically developing a complete longest chain or we can say a hash values connected to the previous block and so on before starting with the code it is also important to understand the blockchain structure although in the last chapter i had given a brief description with the diagram like how the block actually looks with the parameters included in it so this is the blockchain structure i would again give a brief description about this because once your logic is clear you can easily develop that particular code base in say any of the programming languages or scripting languages so say for example this is my first block that is block zero represented over here which is connected to the other block and the connection is actually taken place with respect to previous hash and the next one this is important is that the block n number of block or whatever number it is mentioned it is connected to the previous one and that is possible with respect to previous hash if you remember in our previous chapters the chapters which where we discussed in basic terms about understanding the blockchain there i had explained to you that each transaction over there is represented as a block and each transaction is connected to other transaction and that is possible with chaining and that chaining is done with previous hash so we will be following that particular logic over here the block contains index that is for first block is zero basically index is nothing but the unique identification number if i had to say something about index i can say that every block should have some unique id and that id is represented in the format of an index the next thing which comes is the previous hash it is the one which creates the chaining of the blocks so previous hash is explicitly which determines the previous block it is like which, which one is connected to which one and that is done like which block is connected to which block if you want to know the connection the connection is completely purely determined with respect to previous hash after that we have maintained the timestamp inside a block because it is important to understand that when the particular transaction was taken place say it a financial transaction or any other type of the data structure which are involved inside the blockchain after this comes the next important thing is the data if you can see over here data is nothing anything that the finder of the block wants to include in the blockchain basically data is something like the values which are embedded in the particular block then there comes the hash so hashing is something like it is involved inside the previous hash so hash is taken from the content of the block 
hash is completely involved with respect to cryptographic functions and here we are following SHA 256 which means that 256 byte of code that particular byte will be nothing but index plus previous hash plus timestamp plus data so that complete embedded value will give you the hash of a particular blockchain the next thing which comes into picture is about understanding the components basically components of a blockchain is of two basic things and here we will be taking the http interface which will be using for our local host server and the next important thing which is uh, necessary is the websocket interface and that also we will be installing with respect to our plugins so both of them are important when it comes to the component section of a particular blockchain so let's get started with the next chapter where we will start coding for a particular blog and hashing concepts inside the code. Now we'll start coding for our blockchain like the logic we understood in our previous chapters. So starting with it, I'm going to use our node JavaScript and that is starting with use strict. So this is the first thing which I'm going to embed and after this comes like we will be including all the packages which we install that is a crypto.js express and body parser and then comes the websocket so now for crypto.js i'll mention over here where crypto this is my variable for crypto.js equals require so basically require is a function used in javascript for calling a particular packages in javascript and node so this is this will require my package that is crypto js so in the similar way i'm going to use the same variables like we will use a different set of variables but the same function will be used that is required for taking express body parser and web sockets so we'll start with variable express equals require and then we will take the next thing is express and after this comes the next value that is for body parser so that i'll take as variable body parser i'm mostly using a camel case in whenever i'm declaring a particular variable now comes as the require and the package name is body parser and afterwards comes the next value is for web socket so web socket equals require the package name is again ws the one which we installed in our previous chapter now after this comes the next thing is to include the ports so inclusion of the ports is like http port is there and then p2p port is there http port is the one which we will be including now and that will be hosted in our local server so we'll do it over here as variable http http underscore port underscore port equals the value for embedding the pro port is like process dot environment variables dot http port and this will be taken as my port number i want to set as 3001 that is 3001 is my port number and after this comes the next value is evaluating for p2p port and that is done as variable p2p underscore port equals process process dot environment variable again dot p2p port and this will be taken as my port number is when it comes to websockets functionality is 6001 now after this it is important to set for the peers and these this logic is basically developed for setting up a particular value inside the port number because whatever we are developing right now inside main.js it needs to be accessed somewhere so it will be done over here as variable initial peers equals process dot environment dot p2p port and p2p port and previous to that or we can say over here we can we will take peers because we have already taken the p2p port p2 
peers which will be either as peers with a split value so i'll take again process dot environment variable dot peers with a split value i'll use a split functionality over here and the split will remove all the necessary commas or it will also remove the next part is the blank spaces so once this part is done now i can start with my creation of class so my class is nothing but block so as we are following a typical object oriented structure so we'll be creating a class block and this class block will have the associative parameters first starting with the constructor the constructor will have a value index previous hash previous hash and afterwards comes the next value is the time stamp and after time stamp comes the value data and hash okay so once this constructor is done it is also important to initialize whatever the parameters which we have taken here so the parameters over here is this dot index equals index we are initializing all these parameters this dot previous hash previous hash equals previous hash dot to string because whatever the previous hash we are getting it is important to be represented in the string format so to string is the functionality which is actually used in javascript and after that comes the next is the timestamp so this dot timestamp equals timestamp and afterwards comes the next value is this dot data equals data so this part is done then it is important to set a hash value so this dot hash equals hash dot to to string so once this part is done so i have created my particular block the so block structure is being done so i'll just associate my comment over here like defining block structure as per block chain concept so whatever the concept we have or whatever we discussed in our previous chapter we are implementing the same over here then it is important to declare a variable and that variable is done with these sockets and now we will take sockets also because we are taking web sockets so variable sockets equals a blank array and afterwards comes is the message type that is variable message type equals the values which i will be taken taking over here is nothing but the global variables which is query latest latest and that will be taken as zero this is inside a json type so because it is a message type which is object and including some parameters that is with key value pair query latest query all query all and that will be taken with a parameter of one and after that we will take the response of blockchain so response of blockchain in the parameter and that will be 2 so my json is created now next chapter we will understand about what is the genesis block and we will create a genesis block over here basically genesis block is the one which initializes your particular block so we'll start with that we we'll create it and we will code with the error handler functionality generating the next block and also initializing our http server